Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. And this is today's special ingredient. It's called Asafetida. Now I don't know about you, but I've never heard of it. But thanks to Adam Brickley, I have now came across to this special ingredient. And you heard it from Tasting History with Max. Now here's some interesting thing about this seasoning. It is usually grown in Iran and Afghanistan. It is from the Roman Empire, by the way. As a matter of fact, it was quite a popular ingredient back then. Another interesting thing about this is the meaning of its name. Asa, which means gum, and Fetida, which means stinky. And Max from Tasting History said that this is stinky. But when I open it up, I tell you one thing. It reminds me of many different spices combined together. One of them being garlic and the other one celery. And also some other spices which I cannot describe. At least to me, it doesn't stink at all. And most importantly, I'm looking forward to find out how it's gonna taste. And if you've used this seasoning before and you know more about it, please put it down in the comments down below so that we can all learn more. Because today I'll be experimenting two things. The first one, obviously, it's gonna be a steak. I'm a steak lover and I had steak many different Different ways, but never with this ingredient. So for that, I'll be using in this beautiful prime ribeyes. As you can see, they have some incredible marbling, and hopefully, asafetida will make them even better. Since I have two steaks, the first one is gonna be the control, and the second one, the asafetida. For the seasoning, I kept it very simple. I started with all of them a good amount of salt, followed by black pepper, then a little bit of garlic powder, and of course, only for the experimental steak, I threw in asafetida, and I was actually quite generous with it. I mean, I'm really looking forward to see how this is gonna taste. So I made sure to add a good amount and most importantly ensure that every single edge of the steak was perfectly seasoned. Because now that we have that ready, the only thing left to do is to bag it up, vacuum seal it and get it ready for the water bath. But first, let's not forget about the next protein, which is chicken. From the research I have done, most of the time asafetida is used with chicken. So hopefully you will make my chicken incredible. And to make sure I have a fair comparison, the first thing I decided to do was to split the chicken in half. This way we're really gonna know if if it's gonna make any difference. I first started by seasoning the control one, which I added a good amount of salt, followed by black pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and a pinch of cayenne. As always, I made sure to season it well. Now for the second one, in the other hand, I did the same exact thing, except of course we just added the special ingredient I just found. And I added a good amount to ensure I feel the flavor. I'm really hoping that this is gonna make my chicken taste amazing. But hey, that's to be determined real shortly. Because now that I have my chickens ready, the only thing left to do is to bag it up, vacuum seal it, and get it ready for the water bath. Talking about that, I'm gonna be cooking the chickens at 167 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. The steak, on the other hand, I'm going at 135 degrees Fahrenheit, but only for two hours. And I cannot wait to find out how they're gonna taste. I got my beautiful steaks cooking, everybody. As you know, I did it for 135 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of two hours. That will make it nice and medium rare right in the middle the way I like it. The chicken, however, I like to put it at a higher temperature, to be specifically at 167 degrees Fahrenheit for a total of three hours. It should make the chicken nice and tender. But hey, listen, we are hungry, it is ready, and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. I'm telling you right now, the smell that comes from that spice is no longer there. It just smells like a wonderful steak. The same thing for the chicken. Now here's a huge tip I'm gonna give you whenever you're searing chicken, especially if you want crispy skin. When you cook it sous vide, there's going to be some water or juices of the chicken underneath the skin. I highly recommend you grabbing a peri knife or even a chopstick, it does not matter poke it so all of that water gets drained, pat it dry so that you can get a wonderful sear and a crispy skin. And in order to do that, I am definitely gonna be using a little bit of charcoal for a wonderful flavor together with my good old flamethrower. So now I say, I know my chicken and steak don't look that good right now, but watch this.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Make sure you use my link down below to download Raid to your mobile phone or PC. Have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Crushed the Ice Golem? Ascended the Doom Tower? What about fighting against millions of real players in the arena? Well, now it's time to get your life in order because it's time to raid. Explore millions of champions' combinations and master countless tactics. As you take down raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and 500 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid away. But did you know more than 76 million people have played raid? That's almost four times the population of New York. People have played raid for over 12 and a half billion hours in total. That's almost one and a half million years, which is enough time to travel to Mars and back over a million times. If you want the best weekly reward, you would just need to join a clan and fight the clan boss. And the more damages you do, the better rewards you can get. So what else is new with Raid? This month, Raid's got a jam-packed schedule of events to kick off the summer and a bunch of new content. They've got brand new champions coming out. And every single one of them look awesome. There's also a new rotation of the Doom Tower, which I definitely want to finish this month. So I'm going to try to summon as many of these champions as possible to see if they can help me reach the top. So don't wait around and don't miss out. If you want to get a huge head start, all you have to do is hit the link in the description below and you will get an epic hero Chonuro, who is amazing for the Doom Tower. 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 nation charge so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring this video, but now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today, Momo. Chicken? Chicken and steak. It's steak. I know the steak is over here because the Google has to have a steak. No, of course. If we don't have steak, this is not sous vide everything, everybody. We gotta have some steak. So here's the deal. We have two beautiful steaks. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's an experiment, and the same here with the chicken. Uh, I apologize, everybody. I was I got a little bit excited, Mama, when I'm searing the chicken, okay. and I thought that the chicken was a steak. So I try to show it to the camera. I'm, uh, you know, I'm showing you guys that right now. You know, I try to show it to the camera, but I got a little bit too excited, so you can see that bubbly skin, like you normally see steak, and uh, it slipped. Chicken slippery, man. So I want to know if there's any difference between them. That's all I want to know. And okay. which one you like best? Yeah, just get a piece there. Let's try dark meat both exactly from where it is. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I mean, listen, chicken is good. Listen, it's not fireworks. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You taste the chicken, everybody. You know what it tastes like. I just, there's just seasoning of chicken here, Mama. That's all it is. You know what I mean? I made it as best as I can, possibly can, but it's still chicken, everybody. <laughs> yeah. All right, enough talking. Let's try this one. Cheers, everybody. There's a little difference. There is a difference. Yeah, it's stronger. Yes, way stronger. Way stronger. Like a more pronounced flavor. I cannot tell what it is, but <laughs> I mean, it still tastes like good chicken. But which one is better? That one is better. That one is better, I know, right? <laughs> I'm guessing that that's the experiment. And that is correct. That right. is it. Yes, Mama. I'm too excited. You know, sometimes you can't hide it. It has more chicken flavor and then more of a stronger <laughs> flavor. It has more chicken flavor. You heard it from him, not from me. Give me pie, Mama. <laughs> I prefer this one. This chicken is good. This is good chicken, everybody. I'm talking a lot of bad stuff about chicken in the beginning of the video. I take everything back. That is a good, good chicken. Now, we have... This one here and against this one. You ready? All right. All right, let's go with this one here first. Cheers, everybody. Come on. Not much to say. No. Exactly what it is expected from a steak. It tastes amazing, if you want to know. That's what it tastes mm. like. Talk about my way for a second one. Wow, you're really hungry today, huh? It's really good. I'm hungry today. <laughs> Anything different on the steak that you feel? Mm -mm. Exactly the same perfect. as always? Perfect. Yeah, you know, sometimes they say well, something's perfect, don't change it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to change it right now and <laughs> make oh, it better. Boy. If it's going to go like the chicken. I know, right? You're going to start using that more often. I'm going to start <laughs> using that very often. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one, Omar. I am excited for this. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, that is different, boy. It does not taste the same. Mm-mm. It tastes like you based it with some herbs on this. <laughs> it does taste like that. And it's the same thing that you put on both of them? It's the same exact thing. <laughs> That's wow. Oh, uh, which one is better for you, Mama? I like the control better, but this one, if you're into fruit, like herby flavors, 
That one is the chef. And it seems like a lot of different types of herbs yeah. were put in here, right? It, it, it tastes like you put a bunch of rosemary and thyme on it. <laughs> exactly. And you cooked with rosemary and thyme on the bag. Like that, that is exactly what it tastes like. A bunch of spices combined together, mm -hmm. like some fresh herbs, and we're put it into the steak. Obviously, we are steak purists and we love, you know, the control, which is just salt, pepper, garlic powder, what we're used to. Mm. I enjoyed this quite a bit, man. With the chicken, it enhanced the chicken, all right? With the steak, it changed the steak completely from what it was before. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was something new for you that I just discovered. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Most importantly, if you have any weird spices that you guys put it on steak on your country that we are not familiar with let, let me know, know in the comments down below let us know i would love to try everybody you only learn new things if you give it a try agree mamo yep even if it's a fail we always learn something this one is a success see you on the next one take care everybody bye bye